Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be listening to another Idols and Illusions song. The last time I listened to Idols and Illusions was back in December where I listened to their song Erase My Existence. Two things. First thing, song was sick, really enjoyed it. It was just a very rocky, metally song. It's nice to get back into like the metal side. Second thing, I sucked, basically. The quality of the video I didn't really like. I looked really fuzzy. I hadn't really got my setup correct. I didn't have like the correct lighting. I actually had my fucking light source pointing away from me from behind, which was just really random. Random. I'm hoping today the video quality is going to be a lot better. I've actually got no lighting out. I'm using good old sun. It's the middle of summer and it, we should have a couple more hours of uh, <laughs> sunlight before it goes down. We won't delay any longer. We're going to go into the song and that song is called A World Untouched. I'm wearing green because I, for some reason I symbolise green with this band. Everything looked green when it comes to this band. So yeah, I'm repping the colours boys. Let's get into the video. Oh, that is like a low note on a stringed instrument. <laughs> cello violin, probably more cello. I do love strings, especially in metal bands. Oh, we're starting off very heavy. Once again, green theme. God, I love this kind of music. Oh. Okay, this is good. I was expecting like straight away like heavy vocals, but instead we've got some nice long clean vocals come in there, adding to like the strings that we've already heard where it kind of longs out the note. We're also longing out the vocals here as well, but he sounds so good as he does it. It's like piercing through as you listen. I love that chugginess. It's like doing it, doing it. Guitar, and I'm loving this. Slowed it all down. Oh, yeah. It started off quite fast with like the whole like head banging, and then like as you've got into the song, it's kind of slowed down. It's like cha it's changed down a couple of gears. But like the intensity still there and like the power behind it still there and i'm loving the um guitar notes like you know the, the lead guitar it complements the vocals very well as well there dipping in and out of different types of or a different variety of screaming we've got like the lows we've got the highs i call them squeals but i know they're not like pig squeals but you know I, it just sounds really like squealy <laughs> some of the vocals quite high squealy bleh kind of stuff i'm enjoying the whole flow of this song Just notice that like, do you call that choir voice or it just sounds like one one guy's voice. The revo is really nice. It took me a while to realise what that was in the background. That's very like, ominous. It's very just kind of like, oh, I don't know. It's relaxing in a way, which is doesn't really make sense. I know what all of this going around at the same time is quite like, you know, intense, but it kind of keeps you in like the correct mood and nice, calm and tranquil just with everything going on around you. It's like, oh. Very catchy as well. I want to sing along to this bit, but I wouldn't be able to fucking do it. There we go, now we're going back to the fast bit. Do you know what? It kind of reminds me of a little bit. Once again, I know it's not all about comparing them to other like other known bands, but it's kind of got a little bit of Of Mice and Men in there, especially with like the guitar riffs, I would say. Maybe not like the screaming or the singing, but like some of the guitar riffs sometimes, it just it seems quite... Like that, which is what I used to listen to a lot back in the day, hence why I said like this band's quite like nostalgic in that sense. I do really enjoy that guitar riff, and I'm glad they brought it back. They've got the slow parts of the song, and they've got the fast parts of the song, and I'm loving them both. We've got 
got them high, high violin now. Like really fast. I love how the guitar is like featured throughout that singing and then the closer it gets like to the end of like the chorus you can just hear the kind of like constant like really fast picking up that's probably right down at the bottom of the guitar just like shows the building intensity throughout. I like this, this day, this day will never come. I really like his vocal range here as well. Then violins are back. It's a very damning song, isn't it? I really enjoy, oh that's a, well, first of all, great visuals, I must say. Secondly, I really like the outro, how the last verse of that whole song was just really damning. It ended on a really dark and depressing kind of feel to it. Just like the whole kind of like, there is no one that can save us now. It's just like, oh, you know, this is a sinking ship. Um, <laughs> nothing we can do about it. We just have to get on with it. With everything going shit in the world at the moment, yeah, <laughs> we're on the right path for this actually happening. As a song, I really enjoyed it. As I said, like there was fast bits, there were slow bits. You know, they could have just kept the chorus just quite simple and easy, but they didn't. They had like a lead guitar over it, doing like all of this solo-y kind of lead stuff that I would never even think to like build in a chorus. The whole vocal range throughout was really good. Even in the singing points, like he was going really high or he was just going really long. I want these guys to bring out a music video. Bring out a music video with like you, all of you in it. Comparing it to the other song that we listened to, I would say they're two completely different songs. I think the other one was a lot simpier, a lot faster pace, a lot more stuttery a little bit chunky while well, this one was just hammering home the whole meaning of the message behind the song everything's going to shit and there is nothing that we can do about it and no one can save us so yeah on that bright lovely note i will leave it there let me know what you thought about this song let me know any other songs by the band that you know about watch the erase my existence video that i did back in december i really wanted to do these guys some justice because i felt really bad about how the, the last video was just, the song was great, but I, I'm i looking back and looking at how I edited it and looking at the whole quality of it, it wasn't the best. So once again, I apologize for that. Hopefully this one's a lot better. Hopefully we'll have some new music by these guys coming out and we can react to these a lot faster when it gets released. But thank you very much for watching guys. I will see you in the next video very soon. See you later. probably right down at the bottom of the guitar, just like...